And good evening to you, Mrs. Wright. This is Josephine's student reporting live from the largest dam in the United States, the Norris Dam on the Tennessee River in the Tennessee Valley. As you can see from the live scene behind me, the Tennessee River has stopped right at the dam and expands nearly 41,000 miles to the rest of the Tennessee Valley. And to my left, you can see how the northern part of the dam is safely controlled by not allowing seasonal rains to flood crops. But there's been much discussion on the positive and negative effects of dams around the world. A positive effect is that dams flood areas in which some people use as reservoirs, as you see to my right. So they can water ski or boat recreationally. Also, dams channel water to people in remote, dry areas of land that would otherwise not have water to drink or to bathe with. However, a negative effect is that dams can also prevent fish, such as freshwater salmon, from swimming upstream, which is what salmon need to do in order to make more little salmon. And if more little salmon cease to exist, then they will become extinct. As a result of this negative effect, a possible solution from the National Wildlife Preservation is fish ladders. Yes, that's right, you heard me correctly, Mrs. Wright. Fish ladders, which actually show, allow fish, such as salmon, to swim downstream and to jump up from the water onto higher platforms allowing the fish to leap upstream rather than swim. So it looks like we can have salmon for dinner. But seriously, on a final note about the Norris Dam, the largest dam in the United States, when the TVA flooded this area that affected seven states in the 1930s, over 9,000 Americans were forced out of their homes. This is Josephine Student reporting live from the Norris Dam. Back to you, Mrs. Wright.